Hello, I'm Julie Collins, a professor in the Master of Education in Reading program. I'm going to share some ideas with you about how to help your children while they are reading. Parents are excited and proud when their child begins their journey of reading on their own. However, sometimes it's hard to know how to help your child when they struggle with words while reading. It's important to focus on the text while helping your child. While not all words follow common spelling patterns, it is important to help them try to decode the word. We often try to provide the unknown word to our child so that they can continue reading. Occasionally, that may be the best strategy, but if we do that every time our child comes to a challenging word, they'll learn that the only thing that they can do is wait for an adult to tell them what the word is. When your student needs help with a short word, likely one syllable, you should direct them to the first part of the word. Ask them what sound the letter or letters at the beginning of the word make. Help to guide them if they are not sure of the sound. Some words that occur frequently we expect children to remember from page to page, but these words are often connecting words with abstract meanings, such as the word the. Don't be surprised if children need to be reminded of these words frequently as they may not be easy to sound out and this is a case when you may need to provide the word. After identifying the initial sound, you need to look at the vowel or vowels that follow. With beginning readers, many of these words will be three letter words, usually a consonant, vowel, consonant word, such as cat or pet. In cases like this, the vowel is almost always a short sound. The short sound of the letter A is A, ah, like an apple. Once that is determined, you can move to the last sound in the word and then blend them together. K, A, ah, T, cat, to make cat. After reading the book, you could also play some games with your child looking at other words with the same pattern. You could start with the AT, AT in cat, and then put different letters before it to demonstrate how many words can be made with those two letters. The first sound to try with one vowel is the short sound. So for example, you would start with at, and then they could put a C to make cat, a B to make bat, an S to make sat, and so on. Many are familiar with the silent E at the end of a word. This often changes short vowels to long vowels. For example, cut to cute, rat to rate. The first sound to try when two vowels are together would be the long sound of the first vowel, which is the name of the vowel. Examples would be meat, taking the long E sound with the E and A together, and the same with boat, a long O sound. These long vowel sounds will not always be the correct sound for the word, but they are a good uh, first try to see if the word sounds correct and makes sense in the sentence. As your child grows in reading ability, they will encounter longer and more challenging words. Often these will be made up of smaller chunks, just like the one-syllable words that they struggled with earlier. When your child is stuck on a longer word ask, do you see chunks that you recognize or can sound out? One of the best ways to help your child is to help show them the syllables in the word to help them decode it section by section. For example, if they were stuck on the word hamburger, help them to pick out smaller sections that they can sound out. The first syllable ham, the second syllable burr, and the last syllable ger, hamburger, and then blend them together like that. Say the word with them and decide how many syllables are in it. Or they may be stuck on a word that can be broken down into a root word with a prefix, suffix, or one of each, such as the word replaying. While this word is longer and may trouble your child when they first see it, helping them pick out the root word play, the prefix re, and the suffix ing can help them decode the word. It will also help them to understand the word. Play can mean to play a game or to play a movie. Re means to do it again, and ing means doing. So replaying means to play a game or a movie again. If your child is reading a nonfiction text, there may be more challenging words that are part of the content and may not be able to be sounded out. 
If it does not break down into syllables easily, it might be a good idea to provide the words so they can continue reading. But take time then, or after reading the section or the entire text, to go to the glossary of the book or to a dictionary, either a traditional book or an online dictionary, to make sure that they understand the word. These are a few ideas to help your child build their decoding skills, which will lead to better understanding of the text while reading.